Ten-year note yields had their lowest settlement since mid-September. We did crack the 3% level for about a minute. We got down to as low as 2.995 and then we reversed. So the market really didn't see any follow-through trade below 3%, any buyers that came rushing in, but it certainly is getting very clear that that 3% line is now very susceptible. And if we do see a sustainable trade through it with some momentum, it is really gonna put a short squeeze on the market and you should see bonds rally very aggressively if we can do that, now it's a big if. Uh, we did touch there, we bounced. We are still hanging just north of the 3% line, uh, but we made it through the week. We didn't settle below 3%. And the fact of the matter is, we've had a lot of market movement. We've had a lot of moving parts. We had a Fed chair speak. We had a G, we've had a, a G20. We've got um, Fed, Fed policy makers talking with a Fed big meeting next month. There's a lot of moving parts. Stocks have been very volatile, and we've still been able to hold above 3% on a settlement basis and with one modest trade below over the last several months. So that level, if we do push through, will be, will be significant in the market. We'll, we'll see certainly uh, some heads turn in volatility. For that matter, we would have thought would have bid because we've, we threatened to break out of the range, which we've been in since that mid-September, but we, we really haven't. Uh, volatility was actually lower week over week, remains elevated from where we've seen it, um, but certainly not a, no, no cause for panic. No elevated pulses, as we call it, uh, as the volatility tends to be defined as the pulse of the market. And I think that right now it may be running a little bit low, given what we have ahead. Given next week, we've got a uh, key Fed speaker. We've got employment next week. Likewise, we'll get any fallout from the G20. Likewise, we'll, we'll hear about uh, OPEC. We'll hear about, uh, you know, more innu innuendos about what's going to happen at the Fed meeting uh, in December. So there's a lot of what ifs out there. And I think that low volatility heading into year end after a pretty volatile quarter uh, seems a bit odd. So right now, keep an eye on Treasury volatility as it does remain a bit low, uh, despite the fact that things are calming down. And lastly, let's look at next week. Uh, everyone's been talking about the employment report, but let's not forget that your Fed Chair Powell, who spoke this week at the Economic Club of New York, is speaking next week to the Joint Economic Committee. Uh, that could be key uh, because certainly he made a, some very distinct remarks. The one biggest being that uh, the rates are just below neutral level, meaning that there may only be if one or possibly two rate hikes before we hit neutral, and then the Fed can sit back and watch and let things run on their own for a while as far as the rates go, Keep keeping in mind that they probably will still be uh, looking to lower their balance sheet. But I think right now the market is had been expecting uh, one, possibly two hikes next year. Now you're backing off, maybe only seeing one hike in 2019 and really nothing after that. If you go look at the Fed funds curve, it's pretty flat after you get up one hike in 2019. So nothing for 2020 either. So the market's still very not, I don't think that means we're not going to see any rate hikes. What I think it means is that the market is very unsure of where we are right now and how these rate hikes we've seen this year and the last, how they're going to move the market uh, in the in the next, in the months and weeks and quarters ahead. So I think right now, uh, market volatility being low, treasury yields on, a, on the brisk, on the precarious level of a breakout, Powell could be the calming voice that the market needs to hear. This week he helped rally stocks. He helps sort of see the, the steepen the yield curve. Although I think that if he speaks this week, it'll be more poignant to the specifics about the economy and policy when he talks to the Joint Economic Committee. Likewise, he'll give another speech following the December FOMC. So right now heading into the weekend, 10 years looking very bullish and very near breakout.